So the question is, do I laugh or do I cry? Hey, welcome back to the Abroad Garage. We appreciate you guys coming by and watching what we're doing. I apologize for the audio if it's messed up on this because with our microphone plugged in, we got no sound at all. So we had a whole bunch of footage that we ended up with no audio to at all. So I apologize for that. So hopefully you'll be able to hear me now. Anyway, today I'm going to be tackling this engine right here. We know that there are some issues with it. Maybe not regarding whether the engine's good or not, but I know that somebody put silicone on the cylinder head gaskets. And that tells me one of two things. Either they have a leak, which you would never put silicone on the cylinder head gasket, or they just didn't know what they were doing when they were assembling it. So either way, this motor is going to come apart. We're going to break it all the way down and make sure that it's put together properly. Any problems that exist, we will fix them. Uh, so I'm going to get started on today, tearing it down. So thanks for coming by and hang on for the ride. All right, so let's see if I can show you where the problem exists, or at least I believe that it exists. All right, if you look right here, that is the head gasket sticking out. So here's the cylinder head, the silver part. That's a gray, and then you have the the rusted block right there or the surface rust block. The fact that they have silicone on that cylinder head gasket right there tells me they didn't know what they were doing when they were assembling this engine. So for that reason, we're going to be pulling it apart to make sure that everything's okay internally. I certainly don't want to spend the kind of money we spent on this engine with a supercharger and rev the thing up and have it come apart on us. So I'm going to start tearing it all apart and we will get this thing pulled apart and inspected. All right, we're going to get this grill torn down. A lot of this stuff is just mocked up for now, so it should make it pretty easy. Obviously, these things are just sitting on there. So I've had a lot of response on this engine tranny combo. I think it's really going to be cool. It is going to be a lot of work. I've never, well, I've, I've messed with a couple of supercharged engines before, but I've never built one from the ground up. So people keep on telling me I should make this my daily driver instead of giving it away. But hey. As long as we get enough entries, we're giving this girl away. All right, these two girls will come off at the same time. All right, now the blower is just sitting on here for mock-up, so that's going to be my easiest, other than the fact that it's heavy as heck. So I'm going to put this in the shed. Even though this is made out of aluminum, it's like a solid block of aluminum. So, just about. It is heavy as heck. We do not want to drop it. Alright, let's get in here. We're going to blow this out before we take it off. Sticking rags in there to make sure it doesn't get any contaminants down in it. All right, all right. We are going to blow this out. This is not part of the intake manifold. The intake manifold is down in here, covered up with this nice orange duct tape. We want to get all this stuff out. So we make sure we don't get it down inside the engine. on here with allen bolts which are really nice looking but such a pain in the butt to get off it's not like you can get a regular wrench in on it that's one dead mosquito wah, wah. what in store for us I hope it's good. I know that it has some performance parts on it. Obviously the heads are angle plug aluminum heads. It's, that's at least pretty good. Obviously a supercharger is super good. As per the name, supercharger. But what I'm wondering about is, when we pull the heads off, I know that we have head studs. And they do that typically when they supercharge an engine, so you don't have to blow things apart because you're putting so much pressure in there, not compression, but pressure. So we will see what happens here. Let's get us a can or something to put this in. I 
had an old, aha. Uh -huh. The cheap son of a guns I worked for one time gave us a wonderful Christmas present, these Craftsman collapsible magnetic trays. It's better than nothing, I guess, but billion dollar company and they can't even give us something decent. I'd give Tommy a better, better Christmas bonus than that. Tommy might disagree with that. All right, well, we're gonna start throwing these girls in there. Actually, sort of cool. Collapsible magnetic trays, so sort of stick so it doesn't fly apart. I don't know that it really holds your bolts and things in place per se. It doesn't seem to be a very, very strong magnet. I think all they're trying to do is get it where it's not going to fall off really easy. I have to put pressure on it to pull it. So. My son Jacob plays basketball for a team in Utah called Utah Tech. They just had a game this afternoon, so a lot of time spent in there. Not a lot of time, but it was good to see my son play. They won. They were not predicted to win, but they did, and he had a great game. So that's always awesome. All right, two more bolts, and we will be ready to pop this off and see. Hopefully, it's never had water down in it. We won't be able to tell everything from taking this off, but as soon as the heads come off, it'll tell everything. And we'll see whether I'm crying or whether I'm smiling. Get something to pop that off with. All right, we'll pull the valve for us since it's just been sitting on there. It does have roller rockers. Not full roller, but nice enough. That's another little performance add. Let's see if we can get this girl out. That's not good. Full of water. That is not good. That is not really, really not good. It does have a set of roller lifters in it. That's good. We may just have a bad block now. Son of a gun. Well, we're going to take headers off. We're going to take the heads off. Let's see how bad it is. I can see there was water in there. I see there's standing water in there. And it's not good. Ah, that's frustrating. Water is not supposed to be down the intake. Not happy. More time. That's why you always take an engine apart that you bought from somebody you never knew what it was. It's supposed to be performance. Like I say, it looks like it has a new cam and lifters in it, but the water in the cylinders is not a happy thing. All right, you'll see right here, this is a, a roller rocker. So it's got a roller tip there. It's not full roller because it's running on ball here. But if you look down here, this is an indication that it does have a roller cam. So when we pull this girl all apart, we'll find out what the lift and duration is on it. Find out what we're actually playing with here. Well, you see here on this intake port, you see that it's had water in there. Not good. You see over here, literally there's water in it right now. These four of the eight cylinders have had water on it. We're now going to pull our, well, we'll drop the rocker arms and pull the lifters out. We will pull the heads off and see how bad it is. So since there's been water down in it, that means we're probably going to have to have, take the heads have those done. That's not happy. Not happy at all. Needs lots of money. And another container. Hopefully these are really good for that. Here's one side, we'll get the other. I guess you'd say I'm not talking as much as I normally do. I'm pretty frustrated that I spent that much money on an engine. And, and basically I have a builder core now. That's very frustrating. I just hope the block is savable. 
because that could get expensive quick. I know we can redo the heads. If we have rust on the back side of valves, we can get new valves and we can take care of seats. That's not an issue. Just money and time, like I said, but the block could be not happy. All right, let's get a wrench and get a head off. Well, when you get bad news, sometimes you stop thinking straight. Here I am taking the nuts off from the head studs with a wrench instead of the impact. Hey, it's coming off, baby. Make it fast. All right, let's get a magnet and get these washers off and we'll pop ahead. This is a scratch all, but on the back of it has a magnet, so it works well to get a washer off. There it is. Might as well get the nut at the same time. Dropped it twice. So the question is, Am I going to laugh or am I going to cry? I'm pretty sure I'm going to cry. All right, well, let's get ready to pop one of these girls. All right, let's see if we can get it out. One thing's for sure, it's a pain in the butt getting them off with head studs. That's not good. And they definitely had silicone all over it. But to tell you the truth, I'm glad they did now because if it looked okay, I would have tried to fire it. All that water would have went right down the cylinder if it would move at all. And we would have hydrolocked this thing and bent the rods. So that's not happy. But let's get off the other side and see how bad it looks. gasket all the way. It's a three layer gasket, which is the right gasket to have for a supercharged situation. But when a silicone like it is, then it, it doesn't want to, it doesn't want to play nice. It wants to resist the whole way. All right, look at this. Not good. All right. You notice all the silicone around the cylinder head gasket. Not good. But that inspired me to look into it. Look at that water down in there. Look at what water used to be there. And look at there. Now it looks to me like it didn't damage the cylinder wall at all. Well, we'll find out. We'll hone them for sure and see if they'll make it. Same thing we got over here. Look at that girl right there. So the question is, do I laugh or do I cry? You gotta laugh. I mean, you spend all that money on something, trading, bartering, cash. Man, it is what it is. We'll get it pulled all the way apart. We're gonna hone it, re-ring it, all new gaskets. We're gonna have the heads redone. We got to make this thing right because there's no way in the world I'm going to put a supercharged engine running that right there. Anyway, on that lovely note, I want to thank you guys for coming and supporting us on this channel. And uh, sorry Tommy's not here. It's Thanksgiving weekend. He had time off. I, I appreciate all the help he gives me. And I appreciate you guys coming by and checking out what we're doing. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment and hit that bell notification and share the link most importantly. Try and find somebody else who's crazy enough to come to watch the silly things that we do. On this laughing Saturday, where so many things have gone wrong, I gotta say, oh what the heck. Anyway, I appreciate you guys coming out, and as always, thanks for watching.